Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Lately, the last few in the last few days, I've been working on my ground station and uh, on my biggest quadcopter for long range uh, FPV flying. And I just wanted to show you uh, how it works and give you a little bit of uh, hints to consider if you're if you're going to build something like this yourself. <coughs> yeah, as you can see, uh, the ground station is. Uh, uh, quite straightforward actually. I bought a um, Philips uh, 19 inch uh, uh, screen uh, which I mounted in the, in the top of this uh, case and down here we have um, the video receivers beneath these panels. <coughs> um, if you, you can watch another video that I've made before where you can see the layout but on, underneath here is uh, is the uh, video uh, receivers and uh, the uh, power transformer for uh, the uh, uh, screen. Uh, it needs 220 volts, so I bought this small uh, transformer. Also, I have a, a RCA to HDMI converter, uh, and I have a 5.8 gigahertz video transmitter to use with the goggles. So this is kind of set up like. Uh, I can watch everything on the screen here, and uh, and I can also watch it watch it uh, down here on uh, this one. So uh, I can show you that afterwards. Uh, I'm using the Eagle Tree uh, Eagle Eyes Diversity uh, box here, which is uh, gives me the possibility to have mo uh, two uh, receivers, and it will pick the best signal at all time. I also have the DVR uh, recorder here. <coughs> so the, the fun thing about the Eagle Tree uh, Eagle Eyes uh, box here is that it has two uh, in ports and four outs. So I can uh, distribute the signal to the TV screen to uh, the uh, 5.8 gigahertz transmitter and uh, the uh, DVR. In that way I can do uh, several things with it like this. It's also capable of doing uh, tracking and telemetry, uh, but I haven't set it up for that uh, right now. I don't know if I'm going to do that either. Yeah, I'm um, using a 3S 8 amp battery. Uh, it lasts for like, I don't know really, I think it will last for like 45 to 60 minutes when I'm using all the components, uh, but I haven't tried it out in the field yet, so I don't know really. Um, yeah, on top here you can see that I have uh, different uh, antennas out, two for the 1.3 and also for the 5.8 uh, in and out. Um, I also set it up for the APM link. I don't know if I'm going to use that yet, but uh, you never know and also a few other uh, components that's on its way. So you, see the, you can see the pictures and the OSD. It's uh, nice and clear and uh, of course the, the best thing about this is the, the size of the picture. Over here I have the uh, Tarot 680. Um, the video transmitter is on the back here. I'm using a low pass filter. Um, and I'm using uh, the um, three position gimbal uh, from Tarot, works really nice. Um, and uh, yeah, on the side there, I have a small camera to watch the model from the side. Actually, that was the picture you saw on the screen uh, uh, over here. So you see that uh, <laughs> you can see me too. It's uh, quite nice to have uh, two cameras. Uh, actually, I want to have three. Uh, maybe one on, a, on a, some kind of a, uh, I don't know, some pole in the back here and, uh, and it can uh, see the model from the top. Yeah, um, as you can see, I have a switch for the cameras. Very nice. And um, of course, this one is uh, in a fixed position, but uh, the gimbal can be controlled via the con via the controller. Very nice. 
centers there and the other is for uh, yeah nothing special here works very good so all in all this is uh, beginning to shape up very good um, what I wanted to show you was that uh, these uh, goggles also have um, uh, the possibility of showing the picture. So if you have like 5.8 gigahertz uh, goggles, you can uh, you can hook it up with uh, this system and not worry about the range. The 1.3 gigahertz will take care of the range, and this is just for. Uh, receiving signal from the 5.8 uh, transmitter inside here so yeah kind of like this it could be like uh, on a very sunny day it will be much better to look inside here or if you want to have like uh, some friends to watch it uh, while you're flying so all in all uh, this works uh, quite good I was kind of ambitious in the beginning and I had a lot of functions uh, that I wanted to implement in here and uh, I started out having a lot of switches and uh, have these USB connections to the yeah uh, different components but uh, when I started to mount things together it's uh, it's kind of complicated uh, and I, I decided to go for the basic setup first and uh, later on I will redo this panel and make it much nicer and neater and, and also implement the other function that I, I wanted to have. So uh, uh, it's a, yeah, um, the mission planner is, can be implemented here, put on a, on, a, uh, on a computer or something like that and uh, yeah, we'll see. All in all, I'm looking forward to show you these guys in, in use. Uh, so uh, yeah, keep on watching. Thanks for now and uh, see you in a later video.